To start the process of designing the dowel pin, we must first access our active workspace where the design will be stored and managed. Our workspace is empty. Now we will create our part file. Our windchill instance is configured to use the Creo parametric file name and common name fields as the basis for both the CAD document and WT part name and number. However, we will not be using the common name field. Therefore, the file name will be used to generate both the CAD document and WT part name and number fields. Now we are ready to model our part. We will select the front datum plane as our sketch plane. We will use the circle tool to sketch the outer surface of the dowel pin. We will specify the intersection of the three datum planes as the center of the circle. We know that the diameter of the dowel pin is 4 millimeters, so we will edit the diameter dimension to set this value. We have completed the sketch. Now we extrude the circle that defines the dowel pin diameter. Once again, we know the length dimension of the dowel pin is 15 millimeters. We have finished defining the dowel pin cylinder. The start part we used contains two parameters we must set. The facility parameter enables us to identify the manufacturing plant associated with the part or assembly. Our administrator has established restricted values for the facility parameter. Therefore, the value field activates a drop-down menu. We are presented with a set of options associated with our three manufacturing sites. California, CA, Mexico, MX, and Texas, TX. This part will be associated with our manufacturing plant in Texas. We have finished setting our parameter values. We have finished defining our part. We are now interested in sharing our design information by checking the part into Windchill. We conduct the check-in operation through a set of deliberate steps to review the save, upload, and check-in operations to understand the differences between these functions and to identify where the saved information is stored. We will also use a standalone web browser, Internet Explorer, to compare the difference in capabilities of the Creo Parametric Embedded Web Browser and the standalone web browser. We will start by reviewing the part file in session. Before we conduct the save operation, we will validate that while the part exists in session, the part does not exist in the workspace. Observe the in session files. Our workspace is empty and unaware that the file exists. Now we will conduct the save operation. Observe the empty workspace. Notice the common folders nodes of the save object window appear dimmed. While Creo Parametric is connected to Windchill, we are restricted to saving our designs to the workspace. Now we will view the workspace contents. We must refresh the web page to update the information. A CAD document for the pin part appears in the workspace. Because we conducted a save operation, the Creo Parametric part file is stored in a local workspace cache. We will verify this by using a standalone web browser, Internet Explorer, and observing the workspace contents. Since the standalone web browser is unaware of our local workspace cache, we should not see the CAD document. Observe that the object was added to the workspace. We have an Internet Explorer window logged onto Windchill viewing the dowel pin workspace. Notice that the workspace is empty. The standalone web browser is unaware of the local workspace cache and, therefore, unaware of our design file stored there. This verifies two things. First, the part file is stored in a local workspace cache, and second, 
the Creo Parametric web browser provides additional functionality beyond the standalone web browser to effectively manage Creo Parametric files in Windchill. Because files in the workspace cache are susceptible to local file system issues, such as viruses or hard disk failures, it is not a recommended best practice to store files long term in the local workspace cache. We will restore the Creo Parametric window to perform the upload operation. Observe the empty workspace. The upload operation uploads files stored in the local workspace cache to the server side workspace. Once again, we will use the standalone web browser to observe the workspace contents and verify the upload action. Because the standalone web browser is able to display server side workspace objects, we now expect to see the pin CAD document. Observe the change in status of the workspace object. We must refresh the web page to update the information. A CAD document for the pin part appears in the workspace. Because we conducted an upload operation, the Creo Parametric part file is now stored and available in the server side workspace. This enables us to use the standalone web browser to update attribute information for the CAD document. Also, Having the content stored in the server-side workspace provides additional security as the content is protected by our implementation's backup and recovery process. It is a best practice to upload design files to store and safeguard design changes. Before we conduct the check-in operation, we will validate that the part does not exist in the shared context common space. Observe the object in the workspace. The dowel pin part does not exist in the standard parts library. Therefore, it has not been shared in the windchill system. We will restore the Creo parametric window to perform the check-in operation. Observe that the pin underscore dowel underscore 4mm by 15mm CAD document is not in the folder contents table. We are presented with the check-in wizard, which has two steps. The Collect Objects step window enables us to collect the desired objects upon which to conduct the check-in action. We have the option of applying different configurations or selecting various dependencies to include or exclude objects from the list. The Set Options step window enables us to set various check-in options. When we check in, we can specify whether or not Windchill creates and associates a WT part to our CAD document. We do not need to collect any additional objects, so we continue with the check-in operation. We are presented with the Set Options wizard. The only option we need to set is the Auto Associate Parts to CAD Documents. This option will check the common space for an existing WT part that has a number that matches our CAD document number. If it does not locate a match, then it creates a WT part with a matching number and associates it to the CAD document. If it does find a match, it associates the existing WT part to this CAD document. The PIN CAD document and associated WT part have now been checked into the shared context of the standard parts library. Once again, we will use the standalone web browser to observe the standard parts library and verify the check-in action. We must refresh the web page to update the information. The dowel pin CAD document now appears in the folder contents table. We have shared our design with other users who have access to the standard parts library. Our administrator has created and mapped two CAD document attributes to the Creo parametric parameters of description and facility. Therefore, we should be able to see the values we set for those parameters on the CAD document's information page. If necessary, scroll down and observe that the pin dowel 4mm by 15mm CAD document and WT part are now in the folder contents table. The description parameter has been mapped to an attribute called description, and the facility parameter has been mapped to an attribute called facility. Notice that the values we set in the design file are reflected in the attribute values. Our administrator also mapped the CAD document attributes 
facility, and description to the WT parts. We now will browse to the associated WT part and look at its attributes. Observe the information page of the CAD document and the values in the object-specific table. The Related Objects tab provides us with access to any objects that have an association to this CAD document. We want to see the related WT part. The WT part appears in the Parts table. We want to navigate to the WT part information page. The pin underscore dowel underscore 4mm by 15mm WT parts information page appears. The attributes can be found in the Details tab. If necessary, select the Details tab and observe the facility and description attributes and their values. This completes the exercise.